bag contains N socks. Some are blue, some are green. If two random socks are picked one after the other, the probability that they are both green is 1 over 2. What is the smallest possible value of N for which this is possible? So let the number of green and blue socks be G and B respectively, with G plus B equaling to N. The probability of 1 over 2 is the probability of picking a green sock consecutively over two picks. Establishing this, let's formulate the probabilities in terms of G and B as follows. The second term has one less on the numerator and the denominator since one green sock has been removed from the bag. Expanding the terms, we get the following. The equation on its own doesn't really go anywhere. One equation and two unknowns, G and B. So let's scrap it. Note that the two terms in the products are rather similar, discounting the subtraction of one. Now what if they were identical? Let's call these hypothetical identical terms x. x times x equals 1 over 2. What two identical terms when multiplied yields 1 over 2? This would just be the square root of 1 over 2, giving 1 over square root 2 for the value of x. But the two terms we have are different though. So which one is bigger, the left or the right? Given a proper fraction, since g and b are positive integers, what happens when we subtract 1 from the numerator and denominator? Starting from a toy example, 5 over 10, and subtracting 1 from the top and bottom, this results in smaller numbers. Hence, the terms with the subtractions are always smaller. Knowing this, the following two inequalities are true. If this isn't clear enough, let's put together what we already know. Take two identical numbers, say 3, their product is 9. But recall we are working with two numbers that are very close to each other, but now one is larger. So let's try that. The first 3 is incremented to 4. The second term must then decrease below 3 to 2.25, for the equation to hold. It is obvious that 4 is larger than 3 and 2.25 is less than 3, where 3 is the values of the product terms if they were identical. Translating this back to our equation, the larger term must therefore be larger than 1 over square root 2 and the smaller less than 1 over square root 2. Hence, you have now have some sense of the variance of values for our terms. With these two inequalities and after some trivial math, we obtain a range of values that bounds G, the number of green salts, in terms of B the number of blue socks. Putting these together, G's value is now bounded clearly in terms of B. Since the problem requires at least one blue sock, which is the smallest possible value for the number of blue socks, let B equals to 1. Plugging in the values, we see that G, an integer value, must be 3 when B is equals to 1. As a sanity check, let's see if the probabilities hold, which they do. Hence, N is equal to 3 plus 1, 4. What if instead B must be an even number? So B can go from 2, 4, 6, etc. What is the smallest value of N then? Let's test that out. When there are two blue salts, by the inequality, G is 5, which unfortunately does not satisfy the probabilities, similarly for four blue salts. However, at six blue salts with 15 green salts, the required probability is achieved. Hence, the smallest possible value of N is 6 plus 15, 21. If this was too easy, check out this question from Jane Street.